Okay, so in the Discworld universe, uh, every year or century has a name, and it's called the Discworld constellations. So there are they're always described as an adjective for an animal. So we have the aging hippo, the flying rattlesnake, the purple asp, the gagging panda, the famished gorilla, the year of the ticklish newt, the year of the elevated earthworm, the year of the eloquent elephant, and so on with many, many, many of these things. So I suggest we pick good animals with useful adjectives and we all pick a constellation. So we're making those constellations on the base, yeah? Yes. So, swollen horse goes where? <laughs> uh, next to the corpulent seat. Very well. The only reason we have green things on Earth is because the plants ate all the other bits of light. Green is the waste light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we now have a lot of colors of stars that will make this base a lot more interesting. And I'm satisfied we've, we've got enough stars. This is the only one we're gonna bend we're gonna put up there. These can all oh, go away! So this is black oxide adding to base peltia without going over 8%, is that correct? Yeah, 8%. Absolutely, that's the heaviest loading. So we could probably get by with less loading on black. Yeah, let's go, I mean, black spread's nice. Let's go six. Six gives us some headroom. Yeah, six is gonna be dark. Perfecto mundo. Oh, that's gonna be really, really, really nice. Perfect consistency, okay. We are in the process of adding black and blue to the base. We have mixed a considerable amount of black oxide into the Paltaya Premium, and we are going to coat it with a, a texture with finger striping to add a certain sense of interstellar wind and the vastness of space. There have been streaks of blue are being put into it, to add a certain amount of additional color. Ultimately, we will be putting these as our collections of stars and galaxies and coming up with an astonishing array of classic Pratchett constellations. The colors are mosaic glass chips because we want this to last forever. The black is going to be a rich, interstellar vastness, the kind of sort of thing that uh, Cthulhu and monsters come from, but it's Pratchett, and so a lot lighthearted. Wow, that's almost like Devil's Tower in pitch black. Yeah, nice and rich. We'll draw in the constellations along with the inset stars of glass. Because that will be cool. I have to admit, it's pretty daring that we're doing such a large area. Yeah. <laughs> We've got lots of hands. It's the way to do it. Everyone's got a job. Hands section and then move. We are now putting lovely stars and constellations in our base. And it is really beautifully done. Doing a bunny, and I bunny? think it's a helpful bunny. Help a bunny? The winged rattlesnake. Winged rattlesnake. Okay, we've got a <laughs> salmon here. And Cassie, what is your figure there? Show me. <laughs> so this is a horse, but it's not just any horse. It's a swollen horse. So it's extra swole. <laughs> so I've got an obtuse crab. His arms are at a uh, obtuse Tooth angle. angle. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Dan, what is your figure here? 
So I have the spitting hair joke. Uh huh. And then up on this corner, I have the intoxicated dragonfly. Intoxicated dragonfly coming up. Ta da! There it is. The incognito armadillo. Right. And the. Which carp? The artful carp. Art carp? And I also did the helping scorpion on the other side. Helping scorpion! Helping scorpion. Yay. And basically put this on the continent so that we can actually see where things are going to fit. And we're going to try to put yellows in the deserts, greens where the forests. And... This is going to paint up really well.